is, um, this might sound like a cliche. Music is necessary. We need it. Um, we, we use music to define who we are. We, we search for things and sometimes we use music to articulate what our desires and what we're looking for. Um, we use music to celebrate who we are and group and shared ideas. I mean, folk music does that and we embrace music that speaks to us, that teaches us. We use music to tell our story. Uh, it's necessary. <laughs> It's always kind of been like something that I just felt really attracted to emotionally. Like I, I felt like a lot of, a lot of music always, m music just always really spoke to me, and it always made me really feel something deeply. And my mom is, is a very musical person. Maybe that's part of the reason that I ended up feeling that. But um, in, in fifth grade, I started I played I started playing tenor saxophone, and I played tenor saxophone from fifth through I think ninth grade, and then I started self teaching myself um, drums in. 8th grade, so that happened while I was still playing saxophone, and then I started uh, self-teaching myself guitar about two years ago. So drums, um, it's my primary primary instrument pretty much, and that's why I, whenever I've been in bands I've played drums, and um, guitar is like something I do personally more I guess, and I've always enjoyed singing too on top of it, so it's just something that I've always really felt deeply. I guess. <laughs> We have a lot of um, opportunities that sometimes first-year students aren't aware of until they get here on campus. Um, but we have uh, we have a number of performing opportunities. We have the Green Mountain College Choir uh, that rehearses twice a week. We have the College Wind Ensemble Concert Band that rehearses on Thursday nights. We have a jazz band. We have an African drumming group. We have a folk ensemble, and then we have the Applied Music Program. So as far as performing opportunities, we have we have a lot to pick and choose from. Uh, and then, as far as academic work in music, we offer courses that you would typically find in other liberal arts colleges. I mean, this semester I'm teaching Elements of Music, which is um, basic music theory. We offer music appreciation. I teach a course called Nature and Music that's become very popular on campus. It's an ethnomusicology class um, that takes in world music. Um, I also teach a course called Dimensions of Music, which is the philosophy of music. It's in ELA. Um, and then we have other um, offerings, um, history of American music, world music, um, music of the of Western music history. So it's a, it's a very active music program and, um, and I'm hoping more students will take advantage of, of what we offer. There's a lot going on here in Ackley. It's a nice program, uh, but I wish that more students would be involved in it because we have a lot of really talented musicians here, but we don't have uh, a lot of people signing up for the classes like jazz ensemble and folk and concert band. There seems to be a lot of interest and, and passion for music here, and it's also way underfunded. Um, and I, I feel that way with the arts in general in GMC. Like, there, you know, we have a very, I think, artistic and musically oriented community, and yet most of the money isn't being pulled into that for some reason. And so yeah, because it's disappointing to see that, but hopefully that'll change. We don't have enough space for people to practice music because we pretty much only have one room to practice. And uh, that room also has classrooms around it. People can hear it very loudly when you play in there and if the theater program is practicing and music is practicing at the same time, you can't play a drum set because it's too much noise um, for the theater program to focus. So I think that one way the music program could really benefit is if they chose somewhere else on campus. Rather, if, 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 they, if they insulated that room and made it soundproof, that'd be great. And if they added maybe an outlet or two, because there's only one outlet in the room and it's a two-prong, which is um, not exactly safe for electronic instruments and also um, pretty inconvenient, I guess. And also, um, I don't think it's too much to ask maybe to, to another, there are other rooms in the basements of Ames even that aren't being used for really anything. And if those rooms were used as practice spaces for bands, 
they'd be insulated from the dorm by you know layers of concrete because they're way down in the basement, and also they wouldn't interrupt the theater program. So it's it's just there there are seemingly alternatives to the noise problem that could be pretty easily solved. You know there are a handful of bands on campus, and even even besides that, even people who aren't in bands might be interested to start one. I think it would encourage that kind of thing and encourage a more musical community to have a room really designated for for music and instead of what we have at Ackley, which is kind of that, but then we're also constantly interfering with the theater people and uh, and like um, music that's happening through the school. And so, yeah, it's tough. So one of the things that I try to do is not only offer formal classes in music and performing ensembles, but I'm also trying to make space available for students who want to play and want to jam, but they're not interested in being directed or being in a formal structured program. So this space, I mean, musicians fight over this room and I wish we had more space on campus. James Dean Music Program, I think, puts on a lot of really great um, concerts, and I just saw the Winter concert recently, and it was really excellent, and I love the, the combination of the community members who are older, usually, and, and the younger students together. It's really cool to see such a wide age range playing together, and I've always really enjoyed that. I think like the, the students here really appreciate music, uh, and that they'll go out to shows, and I, I think that's like something that's rare to find in a lot of colleges. But I support any any opportunity to bring music to Green Mountain College, I support. And to me, it doesn't matter what the genre is. Uh, I mean, I have students, again, using this room. Uh, sometimes when I'm in my office, I mean, they're playing punk as loud, you know, as loud as they can. And, you know, I'm not necessarily into that kind of music, but I would never discourage them from playing, mm. even though it's a, it's, it's a kind of music that I wouldn't necessarily listen to. So I would say any opportunity to bring music to, to Green Mountain College, whether it's classical, whether it's rock, whether it's punk, I don't care. Um, I think it's great.